My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate. Today we will see how we can get form responses live to Excel and how we can send an email based on a condition. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Power Automate. Let's get started. So I created a simple forms survey with a name, an email address and two ratings. How was your instructor? That's me, by the way. That can be great. Average, not good. And how was your overall impression? And then we can submit. So we want to create a flow that each time a user clicks submit, we want to update an Excel sheet that we got on our OneDrive or SharePoint. Let's see how that Excel sheet looks. So here I created a simple Excel sheet. We can open it. And we can see that we got five columns. We got submission time, we got a name, got an email address, instructor, rating and overall impression rating. Those uh, data here are all data from the survey, from the forms, so uh, we will just retrieve them automatically. Let's see how that is done in Power Automate. So go to Power Automate, then click Create, and we'll choose a trigger-based flow. So click Automated Flow. We could call this uh, Survey uh, Live to Excel. And then we will choose a trigger. And the tri trigger is when a new response is submitted in forms. And that's actually the first one. So just pick that and then click create. So first we will do uh, our form idea. And that is just uh, the name of our form. Mine is AJ customer survey like this. Then click the three dots. Then click settings. And then click this split off. That's important. So click done. Now we will uh, have a new step and then choose an apply to each like this and now we can uh, select uh, this list of response notification that's the data from up here and what we'll do is that we will um, uh, get the response details so add an action and we'll say get response details here Microsoft Forms the form idea that's again our AJ customer survey and then we will have a unique identifier. That's just a list of response notifi notification response idea. Choose that one. So far, so good. Now we can start to work. So we will choose uh, to add a row into our Excel sheet here. Let's just close this one down for now. And what we'll do is that we'll click add. Then we'll say add a row into a table, Excel online business here. The location, well, the location uh, is OneDrive for business. The document library, that's just OneDrive. And then we will uh, choose the file location. I put mine in X and then AJ customer survey like this. Then my table is called survey data. And we can now specify what we want in. We can see here that's our five columns and we'll get the data to those five columns from our forms. So the forms, we can uh, take a look at it. This is the designer. Let me click into this. And we can see that uh, we got uh, these uh, four um, questions and we get the time and that is created externally when the user clicks submit on the survey. So um, what we'll do is that we'll go to Power Automate again and the submission time. We can even see Power Automate, uh, let us choose. So that's just the submission time. That's an external uh, timestamp. Then uh, what's your name? That is the column. And we'll ask the user what, what his or her name is. So that's just what's your name. What's your email address? And this one is what's your email address. Don't choose the responder's email because that is uh, when a user is logged into uh, Office 365. That'll, that's the email here. So choose the, the field you created, unless you want that, of course. Then how was your instructor? Um, how was your instructor? That's here. And how was your overall impression? Like this. So now we created a flow that each time a new response and forms uh, is submitted, then we'll update our Excel sheet. So let's see how that is done. So we'll click save. Like this. Then we'll click test. I'll perform the trigger action. Save and test. So now um, we can... Um, can actually send in now it will wait to uh, 
it will uh, wait to a response and the survey is submitted. So let's try to submit a, a response. Here, let's say that Donald Trump, he wants to submit a um, response and he is Donald Trump at whitehouse.org. And he's not very happy with me. So he thinks my course was not good and the rating was one. Then he clicks submit. And we can go back to Power Automate over here. And we can see that our flow is triggered. A new response is submitted. Now we uh, have applied to it. We can see our flow ran successfully. And then we can go to OneDrive. And then we can click on our Excel sheet here. And we can see that we now got updated with Donald Trump, the timestamp, his email, his rating, and so. Say that we want to apply a condition. So each time we get an angry or actually a not a good rating, we want to get an email instant so we can reply to that customer. So then again, we go to Power Automate and we will click Edit up here. And we'll just add in a new action. So actually we're adding in, then we will click Power Automate and we will click new step. We will create, create a copy of this one up here just with a condition in. So apply to each here. And we will just take the list of response notification. We could of course um, name these a little bit better here. Sorry, um, we could of course rename this those ones a little bit better. So we can say like this is the uh, email condition here and this is uh, update Excel up here, so that will be uh, a nice way. So update Excel. Now we are down here in this block. We will add an action, and that will be uh, get response details like this. The form idea again, that's just the AJ customer survey, and the response idea, that's a list of responses. Now we can make a condition. So I choose another action. And we will just choose this condition, that will be an if. What we'll do is that we'll say that if, how was your instructor? Uh, if that is equal to uh, not good, then we want to send a mail. So uh, over here in yes, because if this is true, then we go over here. Otherwise, we won't do a thing because then, then we are happy. But we want to have an instant mail, so add a um, over here and we'll just check a notification. And we'll have a send me an email notification. We can, of course, send an Outlook mail as well, but this is sufficient. Here, we will say that um, in the, we could say customer alert. And in the body, that's the mail text, we will say customer. And then we can insert the customer's name. So we'll go down here, take the what's your name. So this uh, customer was not satisfied with you send a mail to and then the customer's mail address so like this now we can try to perform uh, this workflow so remember we'll update excel as well but then and then we'll go run down this condition so click test again click save and test now uh, Power Automate is listening on our action. So let's uh, create a survey response more, submit another response. So this one could be um, perhaps Bill Clinton. And he will just have my mail. He's not very happy. American presidents, they aren't happy with me. So he will have not good and one star. Click Submit. And then we go to Power Automate. We can see that we get a response over here. And now your flow is running. And now we will run this email condition as well. And now your flow ran successfully. So first of all, we will go to our email. We can see that we have a new mail here. And this one is a customer alert. And we can see that customer Bill Clinton was not satisfied with you. Send a mail to, and that's his mail. So far, so good. And of course, we just updated the Excel sheet as well. We can close it down. We can open it again. That's it. That's how you um, update Excel with the form responses that you get. You do it live 
and how you can send an email based on conditions in Power Automate. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have a good day. Bye-bye.